uh, discuss about the uh, account hierarchies that need to be uh, taken in the SPs to configure our uh, reports by using the FRS, right? So how can we configure our account hierarchy? So let's get started. First, you need to uh, select your offering financials and go to general ledger and select manage account hierarchy. hierarchies and then uh, click on new first of all we need to create the tree the first step is creation of tree all right so let's start with act account tree and structure, the tree structure should be, uh, we need to select the account flex field, accounting flex field hierarchy. So for that we need to select. And now here we look at underneath the data source parameters. So what we need to uh, define for which uh, chart account segment you want or value set code you want to establish or uh, configure the account hierarchy right so let me put it there the value set code so keep it in your mind so this value set code should must be the same as you uh, uh, as you have configured in the chart of account structure right uh, because if this should not be same. So then in that case, you will not be able to configure your hierarchy perfectly. Because there is no drop down so that you can select from the drop down. So we have to be uh, to copy the same corporate or any any particular uh, value set code that should be here. So next. All right, so first of all, we need to save it. And then click on next. Okay. After clicking on save, system will switch to the next. Click on next. Here we need to uh, specify the, uh, the label. This is an optional step. So if you want to change the labels or existing ones, so, uh, otherwise, uh, you can create a new one. So this is an option to create the new label for so that, the parent hierarchy. I'm clicking on the next. And then submit. So this is how we have created the R tree. So select it and go to create the tree version. Next step would be after the creation of tree, account hierarchy tree, we need to create the tree version. So go there and put the name. Uh, suppose uh, we are creating for March 2022 and put the name and description and note, whatever the note here that you want to and start date that you need to enter 0122022. So now currently it's uh, in the status of draft, right? And then click on next. A new blank tree version created successfully, and uh, we need to create the node for particular tree version. So for that reason, we need to click on add and select first the parent values. So here we we establish the or configure the uh, parent child relationship between the uh, to establish the uh, parent hierarchy or uh, parent child relationship here. So first I'm going to select the, suppose, uh, let's say take as a assets, as a parent value, click on okay. After selecting it, what are the child value for this particular parent? 
again we need to click on new and then we can put the assign the child values for that suppose uh, these all are the parent value let me select the details value for the child values you can say suppose cash should be there as a child value of this account receivable is there and then uh, remittances whatever the account you want to take here so click on ok so this is how we can uh, uh, establish the relationship between parent and child so you can see assets are parent and child's uh, children of this uh, parent is different cash account receivable and remittances so next step would be click on submit so the tree version for march 2022 we have uh, created and uh, successfully now uh, select it we need to uh, publish uh, the next step would be right this uh, tree version need to be published yeah. you can search your tree code and uh, click on you need to expand it and uh, you can see the tree version of our uh, hierarchy is in draft mode so first of all we need to audit this uh, tree version because without audit you will not be able system will not be able to uh, allow you to active change the status from this to active draft to active so first of all we need to audit this uh, uh, tree right tree version so you can schedule audit or online for, uh, currently i'm going to do the online audit for that let it be completed it will take some time okay done so there's no uh, error so let's go back to uh, the next part which is activate this right okay it's been completed and then click on done now select it and go to actions and change the status from draft to active right okay all right so now you can see the uh, status already been changed from your uh, draft to active now we need to publish the last step of the uh, hierarchy uh, all these stuff like first of all we have defined the uh, the tree and then uh, the tree version and we need to active audit then active change the status from draft to active and now we need to publish this hierarchy so let's go to the task search for the task public uh, okay publish account hierarchy okay let's select it prior to that we go we need to go to the journal ledger we need to select the functional area under it or you can go to financials let's go to the your implementation project in either way and select publish account hierarchy 
So here it is. So you need to select it and go to the task. And uh, search for your value set operate account. And click on search. All right. So the first account we, we have created for this. So you need to just publish it, select it, and enable the checkbox for the publish, and then click on public button. So system will ask you to publish chart of account dimension, member for the and hierarchy process has been submitted. Click on OK. So this is how we can uh, uh, define our account hierarchy. And uh, so this part that, that means publish, why we are publishing this account hierarchy? Because uh, we need to uh, uh, just push this hierarchy to the S base so that we can generate the uh, multi-dimensional reporting by using the S base database, right? So that, uh, that this is all about the account hierarchy. Hope you will like this uh, video. Please like and subscribe my channel and see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Take care.